let's think together about what actions we're going to take as individuals, as organizations, collectively across this group, and how will we make tomorrow better than yesterday? Human-centered design is really about putting people at the center of the process so that we design experiences that adapt to people's needs, not the other way around. How can we come together to really design what the future of the workforce looks like? You have felt in the past you have not had a voice. This is your moment because there are possibilities today where CEOs and other individuals of power will actually listen to you. Building at scale means that you don't build the same widget for everyone, but that you continually adapt to what programmatic changes are needed. And then to close out opportunities that don't work. What's hard to do about this is that there isn't an allowance to be able to have an honest conversation about getting better as opposed to covering our weaknesses. We have to help as many people as we can. How are we going to value the work that happens in homes and communities every day unless we start to more broadly distribute value throughout our society. Millions of frontline workers are getting us through this national crisis. Millions of others have been left unemployed overnight through no fault of their own. What I hope to bring to this conversation is the influence that workers should have. Their voices should determine the future of our economy. In philanthropy, we get to sit in seats of great privilege, but we have to go a step further and we have to couple equity with justice. And justice means getting at the root and the core of the problem by doing our part to dismantle the systems that have allowed the inequities to persist. We have not been investing in an equitable manner in people. And investing in people means knowing who has been left behind and investing more in advancing their opportunities. It is really important for all of us. We have a shared humanity at stake here.